Dan Walker, 45, worried fans when he was hit by a car while cycling on Monday, leaving him battered and bruised. Dashcam footage has since emerged of the incident, leaving experts to be at loggerheads about who was responsible for the collision. Dashcam footage shows Dan on his bike when the rear wheel caught a car's front wing, leading the former BBC Breakfast presenter to fly onto the tarmac Monday morning. Mail Online has since reported that experts spotted a cycling path that would have diverted him to a subway, avoiding the heavy traffic. Dan, instead, cycled straight over the roundabout, which leads into central Sheffield from the southwestern suburbs of the city. A driving campaigner has argued Dan should have been using a nearby cycle lane that would have diverted him through a subway underneath the road, avoiding heavy traffic. Hugh Bladen, from the Alliance of British Drivers, told the publication, neither Walker or the driver are blameless. Walker should have used the safer route provided for him as a cyclist, why do cyclists not use the facilities provided for them? And he is a cloth for wearing dark clothing. Cyclists should make sure they are clearly visible at all times. The driver appears to be starting to move to his left, presumably in preparation for taking the next exit. With signs everywhere, other traffic to consider and maybe trying to find his way, it is a simple mistake to Ms. Walker, possibly hidden by the A-pillar. If I were cycling I would not venture onto that roundabout however, cycling figures have also argued the driver had greater awareness prior to the collision. The debate comes following a change to the highway code last year that left cyclists most at risk in the event of a collision at the top of the hierarchy. It means drivers of vehicles that can cause the greatest harm should bear the most responsibility to take care of others around them. The code states, you should give priority to cyclists on the roundabout. They will be traveling more slowly than motorized traffic. Dot give them plenty of room and do not attempt to overtake them within their lane. Allow them to move across your path as they travel around the roundabout. It adds also that drivers should take extra care when entering a roundabout to ensure that they do not cut across cyclists. Express.co.uk has contacted a representative for Dan for comment. Dan was hit by a car on Monday and was amazed not to have broken any bones, despite his bloodied appearance. The helmet I was wearing saved my life today so, if you're on a bike, get one on your head, he tweeted. He wrote on Twitter at the time, while sharing pictures from the back of a Sheffield ambulance, very thankful to still be here. I have no memory of anything and just remember coming round on the tarmac with paramedics and police around me. Smashed my watch and phone, ruined my trousers, my bike is a mess but I'm still here. Currently eating soup through a straw and being looked after by this gorgeous, tired nurse. Dan shared today that he can't talk that well and his face is still a mess as he shared an update with a concerned fan. from the